Okay, so we've now got our setup, and uh, I've tried this on the computer, and uh, everything seems to be working fine. All the switches are good. Um, as mentioned earlier, I created this little box out of uh, offcuts of ABS plastic. Although, um, if you didn't have access to anything like that, you could always just try and maybe cover it in blue tack. And the point being is that the optical sensor under there is quite sensitive to dust, and given that you're going to be sanding blue foam and fillers they tend to get in there and mess with the sensor I found with the first attempt to this so um, anything that you can do specific to the mouse that you're working with is a good idea to keep that clean another thing I did was um, I used white tack similar to blue tack just to cover the sensor and again at the end I'll sort of pluck that out and it should be nice and clean um, the other thing I've done is uh, gone round uh, with some hot melt and uh, basically just pin the wires down so that when I flex them it's less likely to fatigue the solder joint and cause it to crack and because uh, what you don't want to do because this is this is going to be essentially permanently sandwiched between two bits of uh, blue styrofoam so you're not really going to be able to get in there and fix anything so you want to make sure that all your electrical connections are secure and uh, reliable because obviously you're going to be moving them around a lot and you want them to be stable and you can see that I've done it both on the PCB and also at the component ends. The second useful thing about doing this is that if for some reason we did have these very very close together and the legs touched you could inadvertently short circuit it and you wouldn't really know why it's not working. So again this is if you like the pre-flight check to make sure that everything is absolutely good and uh, then we'll move on to the blue foam phase.